Andrea from PolaratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create this. Alright, so that's pretty cool, so let's start creating and open up After Effects. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and actually if you don't want to follow this tutorial or you want to actually support our channel, you can buy this template on our website. The link will be in the description, um, but for those that do want to follow this tutorial, let's get started. So let's create a new composition. Make it Full HD and rename it to Main Comp and I will set my resolution at full here and 10 seconds should be fine and I'll click OK. So uh, the first thing I'll do is right click here new solid and I'll rename this to background. Alright, um, next I'll choose my text tool here and just click here and choose something like I like to use a font Lado. Um, I'm going to use that one and I'm going to type something so subscribe for more which you should do if you actually enjoy my tutorials. Uh, so I'll do I'll do it in full caps here and maybe uh, change the text to semi bold and maybe make it a little bit smaller here and then go to align right here and then just center it out and on the composition. So I'm also going to pick a background color here. I'm actually going to pick a gradient ramp here and I'm going to choose radial and change the uh, white color to a very very dark blue and then the actual black I'm going to uh, make it something a little bit brighter blue uh, but still dark enough alright um, I'm going to put this one over here and this one over here so we get a nice gradual, uh, gradual um, background like so so something like this should work fine and then I'm going to click on my text I actually wanted to make it very heavy so I'm going to change it to black and I'm also going to pre-compose this, so layer, pre-compose and just name this title. Then I'm going to jump in the title here and I'm going to actually uh, duplicate it once and then open up um, well the arrows here and open up the text and then alt click uh, on the text, or well, the stopwatch for the source text of the second text here, alt click and then parent it with the source text of uh, the subscribe for more so later on if you want to change your text uh, you can do so at toleratedstore.com and the other text also changes with it um, so what I want to do here is make this uh, text in a particular color so I'm going to uncheck this for a second and just concentrate on the first text we made go to effects generate fill and then I'm also going to change this to something uh, maybe dark orange I don't know I actually want to see it with the background so I'm going to copy the background copy and paste it in the title uh, composition here put it below and right click and make this a guide layer a guide layer actually makes uh, sure that you can actually see the background in your composition but if you go back in the, in the other composition and you solo this one um, it's actually without the background so it's just to give you an indication um, on how it will look in the final composition here so um, change the color to something that you like, um, something like this uh, should work fine, maybe a little bit more orangey. Alright, here we go. I'll take this for the first text and then for the second text right here, I'm going to add a generate fill. I'm going to make this um, let's say something like like this here, a little bit darker just make sure you can actually see it and then once we have that we can actually um, yeah keep it like so then I'm going to click on my subscribe for more alright then go to effects and go for the stylized uh, actually the simulation here and find shatter um, which is right here alright so now we have the shatter and we are going to uncheck the view here and we're just going to change it to rendered um, and then also we're going to do the shape and change this to something like glass right here and if we're going to move forward in time we're actually going to see that everything breaks apart and actually it gets some 3D depth uh, that's not something that I want so I'm going to uh, change the extrusion to zero here so we actually have just flat text and then you can uh, increase the repetitions if you want smaller shatter like so 
and actually right now it's breaking the complete text that's also not what I want so if you go in force one we can actually change the radius and that's going to um, show which part is going to get shattered so I'm going to place this one right here around here and then just make sure well actually for the first force it should be here um, lower this just a bit and then also decrease the radius until you're satisfied so I think something like this looks pretty cool and then also I'm going to lower the uh, strength to zero and actually I'm going to the physics here and for the physics I'm also going to lower the gravity to something like 0 0.5 0 0.5 here we go and if we're going to play this back let's just see what we have currently um, I still think that I don't have enough repetition so I'm going to increase this I'm going to increase my strength just a bit here, so we do have some variation going on. Alright, so now we have it chattering around, and actually I'm going to place my position a little bit more to the bottom, so we actually have just half the text that's getting shatterized. Alright, so this is pretty cool, and now it's just up to you to play around with these settings and yeah just do it like uh, you've seen in the preview and then also for the force too you can actually do it once more so you can place this position right over here and then also change the radius to something very small uh, small I said okay not too small come on alright there we go and then also change the strength to something lower And there we go and now if we're going to play this back it's going to shatter both of these texts and actually what you can do as well and actually what you can do is go in now uh, like go to one second or so, or so and then also click on the radius here for both of these uh, forces then move a back a few frames and just change the radius uh, to zero here and now it's going to animate uh, all of a sudden so it's no text breaking at all and then all of a sudden it's going to start breaking apart and you can play around with your camera movements and get some nice results uh, this way. So actually I don't want this uh, second one to be that high so I'm going to lower this as well. And let's see what we have now. And that's pretty cool. You can actually make the gravity be a little bit less intense here. And yeah, just start playing around with all these settings. You have a lot of options to do. And then what you can do as well is uh, just make sure we go back to the main here. Um, but before we go to the main, I'm actually going to animate my text just a little bit more. Um, I'm going to the animation here and animate text and I'm going to add a tracking uh, tag here. And then at the beginning of my timeline, I'm going to change this to 7 or so. And click on the stopwatch here. And then at 1 second when it starts to break, uh, well to break apart, I'm going to change this to, uh, to 0. Okay. 0. There we go. And just right click here keyframe assistance easy ease then I'm going to copy uh, these keyframes copy and just paste them uh, to the text above because it's actually not copying all the settings of the text so um, yeah that's how we, we do this and this is going to add a little bit more animation to the scene uh, which is going to look a little bit more cinematic so boom and then it starts breaking apart and then for the main comp um, we're actually going to right click create a new uh, camera here and create a new null and actually toggle the switches create the null make the null object a 3d object and also the title and then just parent the camera to the null and we're actually going to zoom out here so p on the keyboard while the null is selected and just zoom out like so click on the stopwatch move one second and then just zero this out again and yeah then also right click keyframe assistance easy ease we can jump into the graph editor for example and just so drag this out a little bit and then this in here so it's actually starting all of a sudden so immediately it starts off real fast and slows down slowly right here so let's see what we have 
Alright, so this is basically how I've done that effect. Apart from that, you can add some textures in the background, um, use some glow, that's what I've done uh, with my example, and also I've used some light leaks uh, from Tolerated Store, so you can actually buy these. I will also link them in the description, and you can actually buy, uh, well, you can actually get five for free. Um, I will also link you to that tutorial uh, that talks about the light leaks, uh, these are completely free. And that's actually something that you can add to this shot and yeah, give it some more vibrant life. So that's also pretty cool. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel for more and thank you for watching.